Okay, well in front of me here I've got two different circuit boards. This one's out of a microwave. There's your little timer on the top. And this one's out of an old radio. Now, you can actually make a radio that runs using no batteries or any solar panels or electricity in that way. Um, out of basically scraps out of these two circuit boards. Um, I shall go through that. It sort of needs a very long antenna and runs from the energy collected by this antenna which I've had it actually work on a kitchen sink just a stainless steel kitchen sink alone uh, but you better with some sort of a decent length wire that is insulated and relatively high up from the ground. I have seen um, well ones that will actually run a piezo like a PA system. Uh, you know those big ones where you got your sides like that but you got your big piece that comes up in the middle and then you got your two sides like a you know loudspeaker system for a school or something like that um, using a big enough antenna. Now <clears throat> what we're looking for here primarily is this piece here. That there is effectively a piezo speaker. Now you get a pen which you, know, you all know what a pen looks like and super glue it around that little hole there and you can make that into basically a crystal radio earpiece because these microwaves tend to use piezo um, speakers in them. Uh, another one that does is the little birthday card uh, speakers but these piezos do take very little power but even with a piezo it's still exceedingly quiet um, then you also need what's known as a signal diode you see I've got the ceramic there I've got the one with the little stripes on it which is a resistor either side of that you've got this peachy looking one with a black line and it's sort of like a little glass thing that the peachy piece is inside and the black lines on the outside. And I'll see if I can zoom in here a bit better. That's one right there next to the word D12. Um, that's a signal diode, you definitely need one of those. That black and silver one there and another bunch there, they're power diodes uh, which are for converting AC to DC, but that is nothing to do with this video. You need a ceramic as well, um, one of those little orange things. What size you need, I'm not 100% sure because it all depends on that piece there, which is your variable capacitor, which is hooked to your tuner. Now inside that, I don't know, I could see it before. Ah, yes. Oh, so. Little discs spinning around, and some are meshing in with others, and that changes your level of capacitance. Uh, in all this, you also need a coil of wire, like that. those two orange things you see. But you can make those using like an all bit of wire, wrapped around a screw basically or like a little bolt or whatever uh, which you're <laughs> quite liable to find when taking apart some of these things. Uh, the other thing you need is this thing here. It's called a ferrite rod. That's ferrite and you've usually got about four different bits coming out. The second one there is a little bit hard to see because it's a dark blue. Um, often the ones I've dealt with aren't coloured at all but this one is. Um, yeah, and that's in a bloody big antenna, and that's pretty much it. There's very little, very, very little power that comes through the uh, piezo, but you can manage to hear what you need to hear and pick up AM radio.